Hi there and welcome. This is Tracy Bradley at StampinWithTracy.com and today is day three of my envelope punch board series. We're going to make this cute little basket. So let's pull in what we need. We're going to use the envelope punch board and we're going to use Tutti Fruity paper stack. This is six by six paper and the patterns are in here. The color is just so vibrant and beautiful. So that's Tutti Fruity, and we're going to use this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up, line up our paper to the one and a half inch mark, and we're going to grab our um, scoring tool here. So one and a half, and I just want to apologize for the shaking of the table. I've tried to fix it, and it's just not helping. So I hope you're okay. We're going to punch, and then go up here and score. We're going to turn our paper and go to two and a half, punch and score, back to one and a half on the next side, and then two and a half again on this side. Okay, now we're going to turn it again and we're going to follow the lines that we already made and I'm hoping you can see, see the score lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little, little score guide right there and I'm going to put it on so that it's pointing to the score line I already made. And I'm having a little trouble here seeing it. There we go. Now I'm going to punch and score. I'm going to turn it over here and we're going to follow the score line. Now you'll see this was my first score line right here. All right, obviously you don't want to do that. If you punch it's going to be in the same spot. So I have to find that second score line which is right here. So it's lining up. I'm going to punch and score. Turn it around and here was my first one. Here's my second score line. Punch and score, turn it around, find that line, I can see it right there, that one is easy to see, and score. Now when you're done, you should have two, two notches on each side, so you want to just double check that you have those. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and fold, and because it's a basket, you do want to be sure that you have nice, nice creases. Those are good. Oh, I think I got them all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take and turn it over. This is the side that I'm going to have on the outside. And I'm going to take these little tabs, fold those this way, and I'm going to secure them. I'm just going to use a glue dot. I love glue dots. There we go. And I'll take that one and glue it down. All right, it's starting to come together. Now what we want to do is we're going to cut a few lines. So right here and here, we've got score lines coming up to the score line. So we're going to cut it right up there. Oops. And then we're going to turn it around and cut on the other side. All right, and that's how our basket is going to come together like that. Isn't that so cute? So we're going to just for the sake of this video, we're going, I'm going to use snail, but I would suggest using fast views if you happen to still have that. And um, or tear and tape. All right, so you're just going to put adhesive on these tabs. Not doing a good job there, am I? And then we're going to bring the sides together. Like that. 
just get it nice and secure in there. All right, next thing we want to do is add the holes here to put our ribbon through. And I'm using a one half inch circle punch. This is the old kind we used to have. Now, before you put it together, it's a good idea to do the hole then, but you, know, you can do both at the same time, but it's okay. So I'm going to just eyeball it right there and then do one on this side. Right now we're going to use some Whisper White Baker's Twine and our mini striped ribbon. This is brand new in the Occasions catalog. I'm going to put it through here. <laughs> I just laugh sometimes when I'm filming. My fingers just get acting like I can't do anything. All right, I'm going to use a clip to hold this together while I put some Baker's twine around it. I think I'll do a knot there. that. Now we just need to do the front and do our sentiment. And what I'm going to use for that is the stamp set from Fruit Basket. I'm going to use You Are the Sweetest. And I'm going to use my layering ovals framelits to cut those out. So I've already gone and done a lemon lime twist oval and I've stamped out You Are the Sweetest with Memento ink. So we'll put that together. some more snail. Now I mentioned about fast fuse and that just sold out and we found out that they're not going to have it in the catalog, the new catalog, so I'm not going to use it on my project since you can't purchase it. So there you go. We finished that and we have both of them there. So I hope to see you day four tomorrow of my envelope punch board series. Take care and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.